Hey. We had until Monday. Yeah. And the guys there agreed to it. But well, uh, the city came down and um, they're taking everybody's stuff away. They're bulldozing everything. They told them they'd have a week to get all their stuff. Why are you doing this? Well, they have to ask the big bosses over there. This. You guys don't know? I don't know the lady sitting over in the car. What's her name? Karen. Karen? Hello. Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Ted Forsett with Rochester Indy Media. What's going on here today? Excuse me. You want for us to be done? What's going on here today? We are uh, taking care of a public safety issue. And who are you again? Ted Forsyth with Rochester Indie Media. Indie Media? Yep. I thought the city had an agreement that they weren't going to do this until possibly... Right What's that? I don't appreciate being filmed. Well, I'm outside. I'm asking you, you're, you're the person in charge of this operation? Correct. Who are you to, to, to do this? I'll, I'll leave my communication to talk to Do you have a card I can take? Where's your communications department? Call them now and they'll come talk to you. Okay, call them now. I'll wait right here. Oh no, you're not. Sir. <laughs> we'll give me the officer down the right. To do this, why are you doing this? No, I'm not. You are, you are here helping facilitate yeah, no, no, this. Why are you doing that? We work for the city, we're, we have a job. People tell us to do something, we got to do it. So, I don't you don't question the morality of what's happening right here. I got a wife and five kids to take care of. Well, these people have no home. I realize that I feel bad about this, but well, I, why, are you, no why are you allowing this to happen? You have no control of it. You have control. Oh. You can say no. You can say I'm not going to do this. You're going to call the people over there to make the decision. I talked to the people over there. They said they're going to call the police on me if I, if I come back over there. They said what? They're going to call the police on me and arrest me if I come back over there and ask them why they're doing this. I don't know. I feel it should. What are you going to do? I pay to do a job. Even if it means something unethical or immoral? Like, what's the line? Well, how far do you go? Is it worth doing this for the city? At, right before the holidays? When they said that they were going to let them stay till the 28th of December? Christmas. 
And I don't mean to yell at you. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. But I'm saying I'm that goddamn fucking frustrated! All my friends that don't have the opportunity like I do. Where are they gonna go? What are they gonna do? Try and get open door mission? Nope, sorry. We're over full. Get the Francis Center? Nope, sorry, we're over full. Well, guess you gotta stay out on the street. your name? Can I get your name, sir? Do you feel any shame about what you're doing today? Okay, talk to... They're destroying the tent city right now. They're destroying the whole thing. If you want to come down and stand around the tents, we're trying to stop them from destroying people's oh, things. Excuse me, um, if you're going to do that, can I get your name, sir? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, could you, could you drop it off right here? Okay, because I got people working here. All right. Uh, could you ask the uh, young man from St. Joseph's House to come up there and get this, please? Right. Where, well, where are these folks going from right now? Where they're, are they being pushed out to? Where are they they're, they're, there's, um, I'm not talking in front of this camera. This is a public I'm, space. I'm, I'm there, not, she's asking you a legitimate not. question. What's your name? What do you have to What do you have to do with this process you're, today? You're, you're being very uh, aggressive. To I, this you're panel destroying open. people's private property. You're throwing it out right now. You're, you're decimating the whole place where they live. Do you know where these folks are? No, to my knowledge, they're just being pushed out back onto the street. We just have some things we'd like to say about. So what did he tell you? I heard that he said that they're going to store all their stuff. No, Is that not what's going on here? Out their stuff. We're, they're storing it. There's a dumpster down there. You want to go watch? You want to go watch them throw out the stuff? Called, it's called a roll-off container. Have you seen the way they're taking up the, the tents gonna, and the blinds? If you're going to talk to me, talk to me in a very normal tone the way I'm talking to you. I'm very elevated right now because I'm I, witnessing I violence I'm happening. Too. I'm 6'4", so I'm always elevated. <laughs> um, so, if you're going to talk... Uh, Get the camera out of my face, okay? We're in a public space, sir. I, so if you're representing city I'm, interests... I'm not going to talk to you. I'll talk to you first. Um, so what, we, what we're doing is, is we're taking items, we're putting them in roll-off containers, and I know we're getting them in the container. <laughs> why are you using a bobcat then to destroy the, the, the that, contents? He's, 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 a, he's from St. Joseph's right there. A real good guy right there. So you guys want to talk to him? He's a figurehead. He's not actually telling you what's going on. They're not going to save this stuff. It's going to the dump. They're using a bobcat to go in like a big claw, grab it all, crunch it, and then throw it in the dumpster. Nothing here is being saved. Nothing here is being preserved. These homeless people have nowhere to go after this. This reminds you a lot of the army. No place to go, you know? This is a travesty, and these people should be ashamed of themselves today.